Hi, Christophe Giraud here for a short introduction to the course High Dimensional Statistics and Probability. This is a course that I do with uh, Mathieu Loral and uh, Tristan Marie Huard, and this is a joint course between the master program Mathematique de l'Aléatoire and Mathematique pour l'Essence du Vivant. Let me explain to you how it works. So, the first part of the course is for seven weeks, and I do it myself, and this is a joint part between Mathematique de l'Aléatoire and Mathematique pour l'Essence du Vivant. So, after these seven weeks, so a couple of weeks after the seven weeks, actually, they will be on exam on this part of the course. And uh, then you have a second part of the course. So, um, for Mathematique de la it will be with Mathieu Loral, and it will also be for seven weeks. And for Mathematique pour les sciences du vivant, it will be with Tristan Marie Huard, and it will be for three weeks. So, now I will give you a bit more information about this course. So, what is this course about? The idea is that when you consider a statistical problem in high dimension, then you have some phenomenon which are quite different from statistical problem in low dimension. So the first topic will be to understand this phenomenon and then to give you the main conceptual ideas on the, the methodology in order to tackle this kind of problem. It will be really focused on the mathematical uh, technique and uh, in particular we have in view the fact that we want to prepare you to do a PhD uh, on this topic. Uh, for people in the master program Mathématiques pour les sciences du vivant, you also have some illustration by uh, Tristan Marieva. So, from the mathematical point of view, you will have uh, probabilistic tools, you will have uh, convex analysis, you will have uh, linear algebra also, and it will be a classical course with a theorem and proof, some algorithmic aspect and some illustration. So this is uh, the structure that I explained to you. So seven weeks, uh, which is uh, jointly from the joint program, and then uh, seven weeks for mathematical aléatoire and three weeks for uh, mathematics. So uh, because of uh, the COVID, we have to change the organization. So how it works? So um, on September 29, uh, you are welcome to all come. Um, and uh, I will give you uh, something like this, which is, um, um, version of uh, the lecture notes. So you all come, it will be in uh, room uh, 107 and you have to wear your mask, okay, so everybody is required to have a mask uh, to enter in the building in Orsay. Then for the following weeks, uh, I will record the lecture, so uh, I will uh, record the lecture like this, I will explain also on the blackboard, and you will look actively, so I will do it one week in advance, you will uh, look actively at the lecture, you will try to answer the questions, and then uh, we will meet on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Uh, in the same room, 1A7, and uh, I will uh, uh, do a short recap, we will answer the question, and we will have some discussion. Again, you will not be able to all come, uh, all week, so you will have to come one week, and the other week you will look uh, from uh, your room, so it will be uh, so um, you will be able to look at it uh, on streaming. So I will explain all this on uh, September 29. For the second part of the course, you will have uh, the uh, information later. Uh, as you can understand, we still don't know how it will work, even for October actually. So if you want more information, the best is to look uh, at the website of the course. So this is uh, the website of the course, so you can look here at the address. And uh, on this website, so what you will find, so a short presentation of the course. And also uh, you can have a look here if you want uh, at the lecture notes uh, that uh, you can download. So this is the extended version, you will have a short version and uh, the paper version. And uh, you also have more information about the organization of the course. So uh, for example, this is a topic for the seven week with me. So uh, First, we'll talk about the curse of dimensionality, then about model section, information theoretic flow bounds, convex criterion, iterative algorithm, program integration, and finally, phase discovery and multiple testing. And here you have some practical information. So I will add more information. I will add a link to the YouTube channel and um, everything that you need to have. So um, in case you want more information, you can send an email to me. Uh, you are welcome and seeing you on uh, September 29 for the first course.